When we are talking about space, there is always something present that makes phenomena interesting, right? But what if instead is the absence of everything that makes things even more interesting? Our intuitive concept of macroscopic vacuum dates back to the teaching of Greek philosophers. Democritus imagined the universe as consisting of a multitude of irreducible particles moving in an empty void. On the other hand, Aristotle rejected atomism and denied the existence of a void, believing instead that the universe is filled continuously with substance. To investigate whether vacuum actually exists, we need to define what vacuum is. It is what remains when all the matter is removed from a certain region of space. No air, no particles, no waves, no energy, for mass and energy are equivalent according to Einstein's equation. No forces, no fields of any kind, nothing. Does it truly exist? And does it have any properties? Well, already looking at a single atom, we know that electrons orbit around a nucleus, but the nucleus' dimensions are a hundred and thousand times smaller than the total atom's dimension. An atom is therefore an essentially empty system. What happens if distances between nuclei are eliminated? Well, the corresponding star is a neutron star, the densest and smallest star known to exist. However, if we consider the whole universe, which seems to have a diameter of 15 billion light years, the overwhelming majority of any volume of space-time is literal nothingness. There are voids with a diameter of 200 to 300 light years, which have less than one tenth of the average density of matter abundance that is considered typical for the observable universe. Cosmic voids are vast spaces between filaments, which contain very few or no galaxies. In these con conditions, it might take eons or possibly never for particles to interact. These voids result from the proliferative nucleation of tiny void bubbles that expand until their surfaces collide, merging like soap bubbles. A void bubble is not a particle and it can be both massless and non-relativistic. The evolution of a void's shape is in part the result of the expansion of the universe. This acceleration is believed to be caused by dark energy, therefore voids are significant in providing physical evidence for dark energy. Even if in these voids the particles coming from cosmic rays are almost absent, any region of space experiences an electromagnetic radiation called cosmic microwave background, which travels at the speed of light and originates from the beginning of the universe, so it is impossible to eliminate. Therefore, in void bubbles we still find 411 photons per cubic centimeter, 200 to 300 neutrinos and antineutrinos per cubic centimeter, and probably gravitational waves and particles of the so-called dark matter. Finally, there is no such thing as a total vacuum, but the cosmic voids are the closest we can get. They are a reminder of the vastness of the universe. We are tiny, insignificant microscopic sparks, and there is still a lot to investigate and discover.